So, um, I guess I only have five minutes. No so, I have to be quick. I have to make a courtesy, actually, but I'm not able to talk that fast. Also, I have a couple of slides, so I will run you only through the most important ones. So, I guess, hopefully, everyone knows what PeeringDB is. PeeringDB is really the database where you find all the information if you want to interconnect with other networks. So you find information about networks, about facility and internet exchange point. So and if you have a network or run a facility and internet exchange point, please register with PeeringDB. PeeringDB is um, almost 100% run by uh, volunteers and we have so-called committees and companies would say departments. We have a support department, which is the admin committee. We have the operations um, committee. We have the outreach, which is marketing, and product, which is product development. We are also looking for volunteers. If you have spare time, uh, interested in to contribute to the community, um, please apply to stuarts at list.peeringdb.com. So this is not that important. Um, what we also did, most of the development is outsourced to a company. What we also started is development uh, outsourced to volunteers. And um, recently what has been added is security changes from Amazon and um, uh, UX um, changes from, from Google. But product improvements is better support tools for the admin committee. Um, what we also do is we import the so-called IXF um, exports from internet exchanges. So this is a JSON format where the internet ex exchanges can list all their participants with relevant data and we import this data and cross-check this uh, information against what we have in our database because the peering DB paradigm is that networks specify whether they are at an internet exchange and they also put in the IP address and so on and so on. And we use this IXF import to double check this against it. What we did on the organizational policy feature side is uh, enable MFA. Um, you can specify for your users to use a specific email domain and also, you can force your users to periodically update their accounts. We did a lot of general updates already um, quite a while back in release 2.35. We changed the canonical URL from peeringdb.com to www.peeringdb.com. And unfortunately, this broke a lot of scripts because, for example, CUL does not have uh, redirect uh, implemented, and so all of your scripts probably would have failed then. We always do a lot of bug fixes and uh, edit the small features, especially what users like. You are now able to add a, a small logo to your organization, which um, pops up at every side of your organization. What you also added is counters for various um, uh, counters for the connections for your network connections to um, um, internet exchanges, how many connections you have to facilities, uh, when your last um, point of contact has been updated. As mentioned, we also added API keys. Uh, the most uh, the, the reason for that is that uh, we want to be able to track who is using PeeringDB. You may add uh, API keys both on a, a per user level as well as on, on the org level. So what we have seen is that some users are, I would say, not necessarily up using, but they are running scripts and these scripts were running wild and using a lot of um, resources from 
peering DB. And so what we have introduced with uh, release 2.34 is rate limiting for, um, or especially rate limiting, and especially for unauthenticated API queries, we have very hard rate limiting. This does not affect users who have really interested because they can register and they still can use peering DB. And if you still run into issues with, with your script, please reach out either to support or directly to Chris Caputo who implemented this. Already mentioned it, account security, you are now able to have two-factor authentication. We highly uh, recommend to use this. Um, there is also how to, um, how to use this. This is not that important. We uh, added self-selection fields both for exchanges as well as for facilities where they can describe in more detail what their offerings are. A never-ending storing is, is searching. The uh, searching capabilities of PeeringDB um, still have room for improvement, but we already did a lot, which still is um, not so easy task to solve is, for example, if you want to search for facilities in a radius of, let's say, 50 kilometers around another facility. Same there on searching the changes, you can export it. Um, and we try to work on more documentation. Um, our product manager, Leo Vigoda, has added uh, a couple of, of how-tos, and there will be more to follow. What we've also done now is we have scheduled when we will do the next update. We have done a user survey. We are still evaluating it. Peering B is um, paid for by, by sponsors. If you want to sponsor it, please reach out to sponsorship and that's it from my side, and I still left seven minutes for the last presentation before lunch. Thank you. Thank you, Arnold, for your talk. And if you have questions, I would recommend to just uh, reach out to me at the lunch. Thank you.